Hello, Joshua 24, verse 15, the Bible says, And I and my family shall serve the Lord. There are many versions, different Bible texts that says, I and my household we will serve the Lord. This was a statement that uh, Joshua made when uh, he was uh, pushing and trying to uh, pull the Israelites in their journey uh, to Canaan with God. So he was trying to encourage them to serve the Lord. They give themselves to the service and the sacrifice of God. But these people were so adamant, they would not listen. And then this man came and stood and said, but uh, if you feel serving the Lord is a weight to you people, but as for me, I have made a decision that I and my household we will serve the Lord. So, I want to explain a bit on the part of the household. Because many people normally talk about the household, but they do not really understand what it means. When we say we are serving the Lord uh, with our household, I and my household, household re uh, represent or mean everything, everything that occupies that house, whether it is uh, your TV, whether it is your livestock, whether it is your bed, whether it is your chair, whatever it is that is in that house is an occupant of that house. So it does not necessarily mean that I and my family, I and the people who are in that house, it is not limited to children, it is not limited to the husband or wife. If you say, I and my household, we will serve the Lord, you will serve the Lord with your resources, you will serve the Lord with your properties. There is no need for the work of God to come at a standstill if you have a property that you can sell or bring in the house of the Lord and uh, to help in the uh, preaching of the gospel. There is no need the gospel of God to come to a standstill when you have something inside of your family, inside of your house that can be used or that can be sold or that can be use just in the church to ensure that the word of God reaches to the four corners of the world. So when you talk always you and your household, do not limit it to only humans that are living in that house. It is everything that is in that house. Everything that that family of that house occupies or that is occupied in that house if you declare that you and your household you serve the Lord then you've made a very dangerous statement by saying I and my properties I and my resources I and my finances I and my uh, children I and my wife in fact the Bible says that you a wife shall come um, a man shall live from his uh, father's house and then they will become one with the wife so you and your wife you're one your children are your gene they are coming from you so by saying you and your household you and your wife you should not even include that it is part of the family it is part of you your children are part of you they are your seed so that is just you you the general you all those people are you all those people you share blood you share marriage there is a covenant that puts you together so you are one thing you are a family you are one so use your resources use your influence use your everything to serve the lord if you have made the decision by saying i and my household will shall serve the lord then serve the lord with your resources serve the lord with your money serve the lord with your tv serve the lord with your job serve the lord whatever it is with your clothes everything that is under the roof of that house should be given into the service of God. It can be sold to regenerate money. It can be used there physically in the service of God. I believe you have learned something. May God bless you. Bye.